basics. What's going on YouTube? Be making basics back again with another dope video. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe because we're coming back to back with bangers. Today's video, I'm gonna be making a YTB fat type beat in Logic Pro 10. So let's get it. Fat, you know, he has a lot of different types of instrument sounds like he likes to use. Obviously trap drums and then pianos, choirs, stuff like that. So that's kind of what we're gonna do. Um, I'm actually gonna start with a piano and I'm gonna go with this Spitfire Labs to grab uh, my piano out of this. So we come here. And you can actually grab, uh, go to Spitfire, uh, just Spitfire site, site and grab some stuff for free actually. So let's see here. So basically, we're gonna start off with a piano, and I'm just gonna go ahead and I just kind of played around with a couple of notes. It's gonna be more like a minor vibe. So I'm gonna do something like. So I'm play these notes. Do something like simple like that. Okay, so I was figured out some notes and then kind of just did a variation on them. I'll come in here, double click. We're gonna go ahead and quantize that. And now we got our loop. Now I wanna go ahead and speed this up. We're gonna go to the tempo, come up a little bit further, maybe like 154. All right, cool. So now that we had that, next thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and find like an 808. Um, we'll go ahead and go with a quick, quick sampler. I already have some like 808 saved in here, so we'll just use one of those. So what I'm gonna do is play it high and then we'll just transpose it low later. So we'll start off with something like that. Quantize it. And then what I wanna do is go ahead and push Command R. We're gonna turn this from a four bar loop to eight bar. So sometimes what I like to do is start off simple and then we can just like change it up. I'm just pushing Command J to join that. You name that in a way, name this piano. And then what I'm gonna do is add some variation with this like eight, this 808. Cool. Now just push like uh, shift option up to do that. And now I'm gonna go highlight everything, push shift option down to just take everything down to an octave. And then I'm gonna go ahead and click on it and go to force legato. This one right here, I don't know if I want to put it that high. Push option and take it down some semitones by pushing down the down arrow. Then shift option down, take it down an octave. Let's check it out now.
So now that we have that, I'm gonna add the basic hi-hat pattern. Um, I like using the pattern option to do the hi-hats. Just, I mean, it's kind of like easier to just go ahead and get it going. We use a quick sampler. Um, if you're brand new, you can just drag and drop samples right in here, then save them by coming um, over here to a save as. Once you do that, you can load them and they'll start like pulling down here. So I'm just gonna pull up like a basic hi-hat and uh, lay down something simple. Turn that way down. Go up some steps, 64 steps so we can create some variation. Then we'll do Command R, it's gonna double it. Option, Control, M, um, and the letter, excuse me, Control, Option, Command, M. That's gonna um, take it to a uh, MIDI, or turn it into a MIDI file. Command J. Then you can also add some variation on this other one. So it's like, you know what I'm saying? You want to add some variation in different parts throughout this. Cool, so now that we had that, now we're gonna go ahead and add a snare. Really well, I was not looking for that. I'm looking for a snare. Let me see. We'll go with something like that. I'll play it manually. I kind of messed it up. Um, obviously, but it's all good. We'll just quantize that. And then on this part where I was trying to do that little snare roll, I'll just fix that. So now we had that. It's, it's cool, y'all. If, if you end up messing up while you're making beats, don't get you know discouraged. Just keep them going. You can always edit it. All right, cool. So we got that. Um, from there, we'll go ahead and do a kick. I'm gonna go ahead and throw this uh, bricks kit kick on here. It's a pretty hard kick. Quantize that. Pretty much we have most of the beat there. Next thing you want to do is go ahead and throw in like a choir sound. I notice they have a lot of choirs on that type of beat. 
and then we'll just go ahead and work with that. Let me see here. Pretty much can go over here. We can type in choir. That's a hard little choir right there. We'll just go ahead and just use this one for right now. start off with that quantize as well force of god all that back and make sure everything works i'm actually going to go ahead and change up this little uh snare pattern a little bit kind of simplify it a little more do is I'm gonna come to this uh, core, uh, choir double it by pushing command D bring that down and then like we'll kind of like play around with some of these notes actually you know what we're gonna just kind of do a counter melody Better. 
Anyway, y'all, that's going to be part one of this. Appreciate y'all watching. Make sure you get subscribed to the channel if you're brand new. Also, make sure you head over to my website, beatmakingbasics.com. We have courses that you can purchase, sound kits you can purchase, templates and different things like that. Check that out. Also, uh, click on the links in the description, man. We've got different plugins, some of my favorite plugins from Waves, all right there for you to access. Check everything out. Appreciate you, and I'll see you in the next video. We're out. Thank you.